Um, thank you for having me. Thank you, Juliana, for inviting me. Um, this is kind of a mix, so I'm starting with some older stuff, and then I'll move into some stuff that I'm just trying out. This lift takes the shape of this woman on the rope, the gorge of the throat, where it is conceived as an opening that is both a hole and a star. <laughs> Belching of fluids runs through our pipes and drips on my bare shoulders in the pleasures of a basement that takes the form of a star shaped hole. Macrocosm of the body.
Embrasure. E. In the fourth edition, the aperture faces itself. M. Because the fort is inside us and we are inside it. B. The fort's disappearance became a fort by the same name. R because it replicates itself without effort or end. A. The embrasure divides us in a weaponized hold. S. Because the fort knows how to mark a body. U. Its elbows bound in a sailor's handshake. R, because violence is the tender's embrace, E.
Though we arrive in this zone by moving in reverse of previous routes. And the star that marks our zenith is one that we've never been located by. I find myself asking a question for the third time. Is it love or is it an uncanny seduction of corresponding flags, boat drunk on our piracy, our speaking in tongues becoming a third, with pillars that grow both up and down, solidly connecting the earth to outer space, the Milky Way of fish has turned. There is a zone in the Pacific where due to the disputed location of a truer dateline, the time of the Sabbath cannot be determined by the usual adjustments of global timekeeping. Is this why it seems that the bodies who vanished there cannot be still enough for us to identify them? to let us unite them with their truer names. And yet tourists crossing the equator reenact centuries old baptism charades, invoking the certainty of a protective armor to graduate from poly, log, to mono, shellback. When we cross the line, it will bend us because our bodies are becoming softer. A red line surrounds us like the daisy chain, like a daisy chain of sailors filleting the belt of the earth. If you look more closely, you will see a phantasm in which we circle one another, one hand on the capstan, the other gripping the rope used to strike the back of the body of the boy in front of us with increasingly violent strokes, as intended by the crowned apparition of our ceremonies, who will call the names of the novices. A naming ceremony. Lawrence Steger, performance artist, 1961 to 1999. Larry, sir, I am up again early for the midday dawn to suck the cock of the rising sun, to see through my instrument the invisible red thread. Oh, noble daddy of the line, I'm gagging on salt water in my eye as an interruption comes rolling by, and it must have rocked the monologues of our upper and our lower links, so that we might still have met in between our hooks, both hung and hanged, in that our necks penetrate their curtain blue, and time's rolling index pans us in advance as a reckless ventriloquy of names dropped to overturn the board 
where invisible arcs meet as a crossing upon the girthiest cut of our planetary body. Your name has fully unfurled. The life cycle of transition is island time, passes through seasons of a given day, feels itself out in all directions, drops new roots as the spine draws upward. 
Every zone of a body is a different age. Even those in life whose work has come to nothing add mineral lessons to a mound or porous pound. The stage of you who called to me, Novo, Daddy has cooled in the middle of your name, now unfurled and supplanted by another who takes her place. She takes her place as in the queen is dead, but her name is longer. She takes her place, she takes her place. The boy long dead is dead again. Alluvial lava, plural bellwords flow. Like a queen bee, your voice murmurs in mourning, devotional soundings under the breath, sounds itself in sounds itself out. A bird rolls its own R. Gawks are growing endlessly. You sacrificed your own son, took the name and breasts of your mother's side. One effect is our coupling in a new ambiguity, the cooperative erotics of a word of our choosing to undo prior Covenant. If I did not pass 
over the dateline, to gain an extra day, to be looked for, the remains of the string figure's crossings. Then, what am I hoping to recover in the zone of doubt, with its spinning of hairs into arguments of boundaries and its ancient way of getting lost? The fullness of what, having ended, now ends, studied as a figure from the other side, is seen chipping away at the language of her nails as a way of pointing while being a rest for tuning my doubt towards a recurrent sign, a new line below the navel. Is it somehow connected to the seam that divides your undersides into equal hemispheres of memory? Her stomach stitched, his body split sagittally. It is as though in the future you have given me to birth, your body now bears the faintness of a scar, while at the same time it recalls your calling me daddy because birthing is mutually a burden of love. I am at a T-shaped crossing, blessed by the presence of Ganesh, obsolescing old narratives of a friend whose work has come to nothing and straightening my collar towards the past that I am to make ephemerality into a past's entropic evidence of magma caps upping the antes and breaking the line. The spider circumnavigates in the way that she draws, the way that she follows. Is this a way of unbuckling the sky god's belt? I will be a little bird by all the wounding of the mind. 